uh, 3 8 6 inch long anchor bolt. I bought the one with a with kind of a tapered head. They have different kinds, but uh, this is the one I got. And just so happens uh, you can use this similar to like how you would use a uh, like a blind hole bearing puller. Um, I'm using this today to uh, to take apart a stubborn hydraulic roller lifter, and this this tool works great for that. Uh, here's my little tool. I'm gonna set my tool pieces here so I don't get anything mixed up. Got my little cup. I'm gonna be taking this apart. Uh, got the spring. I mean the little clip. Throw the clip in there. Pop that out like that. Throw that in there. I'm going to wipe this up. Okay. Now, clean this part out. I'm going to demonstrate a stubborn hydraulic roller that the cylinder stuck. Uh, like I said, you can use compressed air, bearing puller, uh, a hook. Some people use a push rod, stick in there, and pop it out. But what I like to do is I, I just go buy a two dollar, a two dollar three eighths anchor bolt. Okay, I got my little cylinder. And this thing's not coming out, so I'm going to use this puller, this little uh, two dollar anchor bolt puller, I call it. Uh, it's a three eighths. Going to just stick this part. Till the bottom's out. Now I'm going to stick the expanding part, part that actually expands out and grabs the sides. Stick this in, push it in as far as it'll go. You're not going to be able to push past that because it's kind of a tight fit, so you're going to need some pliers. Grab that plier, hold it in your hand, and just push down until you hear it bottom out. If you listen, you'll hear it. That was perfect. Okay, now you take your sleeve, slip your sleeve on and screw this part on and get as far down as you can then you use a, a screwdriver and tighten it up until it expands out and grabs the part a little, little tension now, that, that ought to be good Okay. Now you take your, uh, it's the tool that's in there, it's ex this part's expanded out. So now you just take your pliers, you make them like that so that you have, you can slip it over the shaft. I'll hold it sideways and you just, just go hammer it out. Oh, came right out. That part popped out like it should. You just go ahead and set this part down for now. There's a spring in there. You put it out in your hand. Okay, set this part down. Just uh, wring that out a little bit, throw it in the cup, clean up your hand. Okay, now while this tool is on the end here, you can take this apart, just unscrew this part. Set this part here. Set this off. This ain't gonna come out. You gotta. So, so this is a good time to uh, pop the end of this off with a hook. And you just look at it, find the slot, and pop that off. Throw it in your bowl. There's a little steel ball. A little spring is inside here. You want to take that out. Set the spring there. Pop that there. Give this a quick wipe down. Okay. Now this is stuck now, so to get this out, you just take your take your okay. Get this out. You take your channel locks, hold that, and let me go ahead and put this in here. It's, that's ready to go in there. Okay. Got the tool here. Just get a little hammer. If you don't have a 
you don't have a hammer, you know, you can use pliers and just smack it down like that. That'll work too. But I got a hammer, so I just hold that and give it a tap and it'll come right out. Set your tool here. Set your tool aside. It's ready for the next one. And this part will go in my bowl here. Little little mineral spirits. I'm gonna fill this up. Okay. Little mineral spirits. Clean this up. Just give it a shake. And you're done.